What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack all of our crypto education. If you guys are brand new here, be sure to be subscribed with notifications on for my next fire video. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be going over Virtuals. Virtuals Protocol is effectively a platform that allows people to go and tokenize AI agents, as well as create them and co-own them. Now, for the first time ever, you have this merge between AI and crypto with Virtuals, where if you have a large data set that's unique and you want to create an AI agent, you can do that and tokenize it using their platform. By tokenizing it, people can then use it and they can pay using these things called inferences. And this is where they're interacting and prompting that AI agent and it can spit back out an intelligent response in different formats. This can be done on Twitter, on Telegram bots, and all different mechanisms, but their platform is the central hub where all of these agents are listed and tokenized. They have different market caps, and it is a really cool new concept. Getting rid of all the buzzwords and everything, when you have a merge of two different pieces of new cutting edge technology, you have a boom. And that's what's going on right now with AI infrastructure. And Virtuals is at the forefront, taking the mind share of most traders out there. The unique part about Virtuals and how they've approached this is by deploying their own use cases initially, where you have something like Luna. Luna is a virtual influencer. And this was really pioneered many years ago with VTubers, where it's a virtual person and people can interact with it and they can create content and people basically treat it like a content creator, like a human content creator. This is where Luna came in. Virtuals created Luna to effectively build a very large following. That was the instruction saying, all right, you need to build a large following on social media. It is now a TikTok account that has over half a million followers and it's generating revenue that is tokenized. So people can co-own Luna and participate in the growth of this AI powered influencer. Now the mind blowing part to this here is the one that I'm really excited to share, which is that for example, I'm making this video now, there will be maybe a hundred comments on this video. I can go in and respond to maybe 50 of them maybe 75 of them. And I try to respond to everybody's comment. Don't get me wrong. I'm always in the comment section, in the trenches, trying to respond to people. But ultimately this AI agent can respond to every single comment on their video and their live stream like that. Immediately personalized at scale, thousands of comments simultaneously going out to individuals, catering to them and personalizing them. Not only does that completely flip content creation upside down, but it effectively increases engagement in order of magnitude more than what a human like myself can do in the comment section. So when you have live commerce basically being the next frontier on things like TikTok, where people are making seven figures per stream that they're doing, selling items on TikTok, this is going to supercharge that. When you have these virtual influencers dropping products and people can purchase them in real time and they are engaging with thousands of people simultaneously customizing that response to them you're just talking about a massive opportunity in terms of the revenue that can be generated through these ai agents so luna was really a benchmark use case for creating an ai agent that can really move the, the needle in terms of building an audience there's other ones like AIXBT. So AIXBT is a really funny and awesomely intelligent AI agent on Twitter. It's tweeting out on a daily basis. It says automated on the Twitter account. You can go to a lot of these AI agents and see that they've created Twitter accounts or X accounts that have the automation tag on there. So when you interact with them in, or inference with them, you are basically getting a, re a reply in the lingo of Twitter. So what AI XBT has done is basically takes the entire crypto community and responds to you in the way that the crypto community responds to each other, which is hilarious. And not only that, it has given some insane calls. It's sharing all sorts of trading advice. And this is arguably what I would say is the most advanced and intelligent AI bot out there that you can interact with on social media. It knows all the different projects that are coming up. When news breaks, it is immediately going out on AIXBT in a funny, very culturally appropriate way for people in the space. And it's just a really cool interaction. I've interacted with it before and played around with it. So AIXBT right now is at a $340 million market cap. And I'm gonna jump onto their site so you guys can see a little bit about the application that's built on base. And you can see how simple the design is for people to go on and create new AI agents using something called GAME, G-A-M-E. 
I'm going to do another video on this in the future because it is a lot to unpack in one video. I mainly want to talk about the agents themselves now. And for everybody watching this that is interested in creating an AI agent, leave a comment below and be sure to check out the website. I'm going to link to it below just so you guys can go in and see the productivity agents, the entertainment agents, the IP focused agents. You can see the number of inferences, the 24 hour volume, the holder count, the total value locked, the 24 hour up and down percentages, and then the market cap, which is the really exciting piece here. GAME is $300 million market cap. Prefrontal cortex convo agent is $92 million market cap. Luna that I just talked about is $101 million market cap. AIXBT is a $340 million market cap. And these agents are actively getting traded around. It is a remarkable, remarkable market. And people are on here testing the waters and it's all through the virtuals token. So the utility here is explosive. That's why this company has gone up like 20,000%. Let's jump onto the Virtuals Protocol, their application. I'll show you guys some of these really fun agents like Vander AI, Bark Ruffalo, AI XBT, and Luna. So you guys can get a sense for how people are launching these things, the volume and infer inferences and the market caps. All right, so once you go to app.virtuals.io, you can see the agents ranked by market cap. The AI XBT that I was previously mentioning, we're gonna go ahead and go to this screen. You can see that it has its own market. It links to deck screener, Gecko terminal. It shows the contract address. And of course you can see an immediate swap powered by OKX, which is really cool with the virtuals token and the AI XBT token. It's built on base, as I mentioned before, and you will see the chat going on about <laughs> the people interacting with him. So it's really cool to see all the different types of conversations that people are having. They're asking, is the meme cycle over? What do you think about Soul? Can you share more info about Pepe? And it's just in real time firing off all these great responses to people. And these are inferences. So lifetime inferences, 543, 24 hour volume is $106 million, 118,000 holders, $7.2 million is value locked TVL and then $339 million market cap. AIXBT tracks CT conversations. That means crypto Twitter discussions and leverages its proprietary engine to identify high momentum plays and play games. So the idea here is that it has all the capabilities laid out and where it is available. So you can go on here, see the people that are interacting with it, some of the comments and questions it's being asked and also where the capabilities come from using the GAME. And this is where I'm gonna do another video on it, but ultimately GAME is really the kind of scaffolding that's needed to create these agents. And it's a framework that was built out by the Virtuals team, which is really cool. And it is very underrated right now. It is not really talked about very much and you can go and find it on the platform itself. Like when we go to Sentient Agents here, we will go back and see the game is listed right here. So you can interact with the actual framework and the tokenization of it, and you can see it's over 2 million inferences. Here is Luna, I'm gonna bring that one up as well. Okay, so this one is super cool, and I'm glad that we're catching her while she is streaming. You can see here that there is 42 Luna for a dance, 696 Luna for it looks like a new outfit and 696 for, I think that's like a shake or something, but this is very similar to when you go on TikTok and the NPCs that you see where they're like dancing and saying things when you tip them. This is the same concept, but she is streaming 24 seven. So cool to see this actually when I pulled this up, I wasn't thinking that this was gonna be popped up, but love the fact that this is built out and it's using something called Liza that I'll do another video on in the future. But ultimately, Luna is a more than virtual K-pop star. She's the trailblazer of a new era of entertainment born from a vision to challenge the boundaries of what dolls can be. So I really like that this has all of the components that you need, even more than AI XBT. You have your Twitter agent, you have the uh, part here where it's live streaming, you have the telegram chat, and of course, you know, you have the forum here and it looks like multiple, multiple accounts where you can chat right here. So all the different ways that you can interact with Luna. And this is a kind of landmark case study for the virtuals product and platform. Really impressed by this. Lastly, I want to talk about Vader AI. 
This one I've been following for a little while, and basically this is like a uh, kind of an on-chain BlackRock. And I think that the idea around this is people are trying to get advice. They're trying to prompt it to talk about other agents and really just get some know-how from Vander. And if you check it out on Twitter, I'll do it in my, in my post. I'll link to Vander so you guys can check it out. But it is a really powerful and knowledgeable uh, kind of agent to give you undervalued different agent tokens and almost like a portfolio. It's creating like a mega, mega fund for all the different agents and different tokens out there. So lastly, it's important to know that this is all through the virtuals token. So every time people are interacting with Van Vader AI or AIXPT or Luna, they have to interact with the virtual token. That is by definition utility because you have to get the, the token to actually do an inference and you have to interact with the individual tokens that the AI is represented by. So you have multiple different pieces of utility there where you have the virtual token utility and you have the individual token for the AI agent, that utility is baked in because you're literally doing these inferences and interacting with them. And in order to do that, you have to have the token. So overall, 10 out of 10 recommend checking this out because of the utility that is baked in here and just the brilliant design of overall what Virtuals has done. And many have called this the pump fund of AI agents, which I think is funny. If you aren't familiar with pump fund, it was like a live streaming meme token site and the live streaming part got taken down just because it went way overboard. But I do believe this is very similar in that anybody can go on and create an AI agent, tokenize it, create an automation, but the data in is directly correlated to the value that you get out of it. You put garbage in, you get garbage out. So these agents are as good as the data that has been put into the model. Uh, and I think that that is crucial to understanding the value here, that people that have these data sets and are able to get this unique data, it is a really clever and brilliant way to monetize it. That is it for my high level overview of Virtuals Protocol. I think this thing is remarkable and it is really fun to follow, to be honest. I fell down this rabbit hole so deep and I'm still going through just the sentient agents. There's prototype agents, so much more to dig into on trying game out, which is allows you to build these AI agents using their framework. And it is just such a really cool time. And a lot of people that have been messaging me about this and people that are really in the trenches on virtuals, buying all these different types of agents that are launching every day. I think that there is just so much opportunity here and it is the era of AI agents. In 2021, we had NFTs. In 2017, we had ICOs. And this run is going to be dedicated to these AI agents. I'm calling it now. I believe this is the frontier. And with these already hitting $300 million market caps and all of the volume that's taking place on here and just the percentage of mindshare that this has, it's not going anywhere. And I've watched a lot of interviews with the virtual team. Hopefully maybe I can get them on the channel sometime, but I'm really bullish on the team, the tech, and just the overall market this, this has created. And they have the attention of everybody and attention is what matters in the bull market. So I'm rooting for these guys. I'm rooting for these agents and I'm rooting for this movement in general, because I think it's powerful in a way to unlock value that was not there previously. And crypto has helped do that for these data sets that just weren't publicly available before. And now you can interface with them and it's a beautiful thing. So that is it for my video here on virtuals. I hope my overview helps somebody go on and do some research here because this is an insanely bullish time for AI and AI agents specifically at the intersection between crypto and AI. So check it out, do your own research. This is not a sponsored review. I'm just bullish on virtuals. And that is it. I will see you here on the next episode of Hack Crypto and enjoy the bull market.